to special forces. That swamp is where the Varheit found the artifact of Serexus. Find that relic, and we'll do the same to Cortebex and Von List. Search the excavation. Roko! Watch out! These things pack a wallet! weak spot between this world and the dark ether. It is where Sarexus first made contact with humanity many centuries ago. The locals built a modest shrine there, but not Shinto, not Buddhist, no. This was its own thing. But while she was distracted with her playthings, the keepers of the shrine were contacted by Cortifex himself. He told them 
She was a threat to their feudal lord, which she was currently inhabiting. He gave them the means to trap her. So when Sorexis returned to visit her old stumping grounds, the priests were waiting with the relic. Later, when the shrine was forgotten and the Japanese Imperial Army set up an outpost, they had no idea Sorexis's artifact lay beneath them. And now, the Varheit have left their own stamp on the place. But it remains a place of magic and menace. Mortals, you are clever little things. The traps and the weapons we found here are proof of that. But even if your so-called wonder weapon can strike down ten enemies at once, there is something you must remember. Weapons do not win battles. Soldiers do. Even the deadliest implements are worthless in the hands of the weak. But in the hands of a trained warrior, the simplest of weapons become tools of victory! Strength and discipline are not enough. You must be clever. You must be crafty. Our enemy is all but mindless. This makes it easy to lead them into that flogger thing, or through the lightning door. They are cattle. Their bloodlust makes them careless. Use it against them. Just never be like them. Keep your wits about you. And you'll always have the upper hand. From von List to all troops who recently withdrew from the Shino Numa site. Can one of you kindly explain to me how the hell you left behind the DG2? The radio equipment, the Tesla coil, even the traps I can understand. But to leave behind a one of a kind experimental weapon prototype? That takes a special kind of Dummkopf. Obtaining the plans from Project End Station was difficult enough. They consider us rivals, even laugh at our labors. The ghost chasers, they call us. And now we have to rebuild that weapon from scratch. Wait. You did bring the blueprints for the Wunderwaffe, right? Right? Because if I am forced to ask Dr. Vogel for another copy, you can expect something worse than a demotion. Moi part 10. I have recounted how I was forced to help Oberfuhrer von List and his Devarheit battalion. We are almost at the end of my tale. Those final days before von List first raised the dead were a terrifying blur. Mass graves exhumed, piles of bodies choking the streets, and all through it, Von List was talking to himself in the next room. Except I knew he was not alone. The thing that took root in him, the demon lord that empowered and advised him, I knew it was twisting what remained of his soul. I distracted myself by rereading that final letter from Sasha. But it was so cold, so formal. Somehow, they had extinguished my spouse's inner warmth. And now, they would do the same to the world. My only hope was that my distress call would be answered. I did not know if anyone received it, or if they would bother to respond. But, even then, my new allies were on their way. There would be a reckoning. I can't stop thinking about that verdammt tome page craft and his soldiers stole from us. You assured me it was safe, that nothing could penetrate that void spell. How could you let it fall into enemy hands? Now craft knows how to stop us. Knowing something had 
being able to do it are two different things, Wolfram. You do not sound very concerned. Why is that? For the same reason you do not concern yourself with insects. Craft is nothing. I might agree. Were he not still alive when you said we would crush him weeks ago? Remind me. What exactly am I getting out of this partnership? I am not your servant, nor are you mine. We simply have mutual interests. And if Kraft still lives, it is because you have failed to kill him. Now, if you wish to end our alliance, I'll take my power to raise the dead and return to my scepter. You can carry on with your handful of surviving soldiers. Nine. Nine, Cortifex. We still need each other, as you so bluntly point out. Then tell me, Wolfram. Do you think I wanted them to get that page? No, Is Cortifex. it really suicide when it they're already dead? Would not make any sense. Would it? Well, today he finally raised the dead. Von List paid me a visit. He came to my little room wearing his dress uniform coat draped around his shoulders. <laughs> you would have thought he was going to dinner with his vile Fuhrer. He seemed giddy. The big moment was upon us, his troops waiting outside by heaps of frozen corpses. <clears throat> Watch out. So I summoned These what little courage I have and asked if he had come to kill me. He looked at me the way one might look at a pet then reached out from under his coat. I saw he was holding a blank notebook. He wanted me at my window, recording the moment. He would let me live to see the hell I helped him unleash. He was amused by how that sickened me. And so I watched him march out among his men and raise his arms. I saw the containment spell go up. I watched the wretched dead awaken. I thought all was lost. And then my radio crackled. It was my new allies who had gotten in just before the red curtain of runes cut off the city from the outside world. And once again, hope entered my heart. Oberführer Wolfram von List to all troops of Kampfgruppe die Wahrheit. Some of you are asking how safe it is to restart operations in the Eastern Desert. While I prefer unquestioning obedience, in this case I shall try to explain the necessity of continuing our work there. First, the Dark Eater crystals contaminating the area have been tested by specialists from Uranverein declared radioactivity levels to be safe. So perhaps contamination is not the best word. In fact, those crystals are a sign that our efforts to establish a crossover point to the Dark Ether are succeeding. And look what that has won us already. Zabala now adds her strength to our efforts. What other new allies might we find as we expand our bridge to their universe? So I... I understand that caution is not cowardice. I know how hard it can be to question my orders. But for those who wonder if Cortifex is now in charge of Divarite, I have no patience. There is only one Oberführer here. Leave Cortifex to me. I... Just leave him to me and get back to work. I want to update you on von List's activities at the desert site in Egypt. After all, should we succeed in obtaining the relic, the Eastern Desert will be the best place where we use it on von List and Cortifex. This is because the Wahrheit have resumed operations in the area, which is surprising considering how many men they lost there. Remember, all the 
dark ether crystals in that area came from their catastrophic attempt to demolish the temple where we found the scepter of Cortex. And while they may have been trying to cover their tracks, as it were, we still don't get why they did it. I was there when we found the scepter. I had already seen all the secrets in that chamber. Was the whole point to further weaken the dimensional barrier? <laughs> I only hope whatever they are doing now does not make things worse. But if Von List is on site, that is where we will separate him from Cortex. That is where our final battle will occur. The Allied soldiers who responded to my distress call. They had reached Stalingrad just before Cortefex's rune magic sealed off the city. But my would-be rescuers were trapped with an army of revenants. I realized immediately that there was only one way to help them. Von List had used the scepter of Cortefex to gain his power. But I still had four other artifacts in a crate. I guided the squad of Allied soldiers closer to my location, careful to skirt areas where I knew there were Devahite troops. With a rope, I lowered the artifact crate down to them. I told them it held munitions that could stop von List. When they laid hands on the objects inside, I heard them cry out in surprise. I knew that. Having briefly bonded with Bellica myself, I then explained to the soldiers about their new demonic partners. And thus began our desperate alliance. I feel as though these men and women have come to trust me. I only hope when this is over, they will forgive me. Discuss Professor Kraft. You seem to understand him better than any of us. Perhaps because we are both scholars. Is there a problem? The problem is that he is a scholar, not a warrior. Should he really be leading this effort? Strange. I never thought of him as leading. More like advising. Hey, if it weren't for him, we'd all still be stuck in our artifacts. Plus, there's a sadness in him that I always find amusing. It is this history with Von List that concerns me. What if his need for vengeance clouds his judgment? Ask that question of him, Nauticus, and you may as well ask it of all of us. We all began this in search of revenge, but I have learned from Kraft that true victory is about those we save, not those we kill. And that is perhaps the best reason to let this mortal guide us. Why settle for revenge when you can have redemption? Kraft to Special Forces. I have an update about that page from the Tome of Rituals that you fought so hard to obtain. Belakar and I have completed our study of its contents, and it appears we struck gold, as the Americans are fond of saying. The page recounts how a group of priests and officials in Okinawa Prefecture banded together to save their lord from what they considered demonic possession. In fact, this man had bonded with Saraxis, much the same way that you are currently bonded to your ethereal allies. They arranged a visit to the swampy island where you now find yourselves, and ambushed him with a special relic, while the page gives specific instructions on the use of that relic to sever the bond between a Dark Eater entity and its human host. It gives no description of the relic itself. Reminds me of when I studied the writings of Alistair Rhodes, an amateur demonologist and personal hero of mine. Rhodes wrote about different objects of power that 
he called sentinel artifacts. But I was never able to find out exactly what they were. Nevertheless, if we can find the relic we seek at Shino Numa, I am quite certain I can use it on Von List and trap Cortifex in that little scepter of his. Why are we still wasting time here? Why have we not already paid the contract? And why do we need this dreadful fool, this brutal, this barley? Zavala, your eagerness to serve me is beginning to sound like impatience. But with all the power you have granted me, we could have exterminated our enemies by now. He is unworthy of our help, unworthy of you, Lord Cordifex. I don't understand why you accept me. You! From that mouth, far too much, and you see far too little. How has it escaped your notice that everything is coming together for me? Even Verkana is here to share her punishment alongside the traitors Nordicus and Invictor. Everything is proceeding exactly as I intend. How dare you even think anything to the contrary? Lord Cornifex, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I don't do forgiveness, Zavala. Now get back to your duties. On no my sight. All seems to center on your former enforcer, Sir Raxis the Shadow. What exactly is her connection to you, Cortifex? What do you mean, connection? That incident where she was forcibly separated from her host. You were involved, were you not? She grew tiresome. And I do enjoy crafting a fitting punishment. So did you instruct the people here to oh, create that no relic? Personal. Or did you create it yourself? What does it matter? I saw to it she was entombed in her artifact. That is all. You don't like discussing her. I sense there is much more to this story. There always is, Wolfram. But we are not here to tell tales. We are here to make history. Thanks to help Saraxis regain her memories. And I must say, I don't understand it. That's a rare admission from you, Velikar. Aren't you usually the smartest one in the room? Not in this instance. You already know Saraxis' secrets. Why go through all these complicated steps? Why not just tell her? There is a world of difference between being told about something and experiencing it for yourself. Way she recaptures those moments, owns them. Yes, it is harder, dangerous even. But she must do this for herself, or she will always be the broken thing Cortifex turned her into. Well, once she does remember, I only hope she doesn't hate you for it. It is worth the risk. There is no telling what else she might remember. Perhaps some weakness in court effects we can exploit, or some ambition of his yet unfulfilled. Uh, can't let them get close. 